Brothers, let's talk. We got a little post here from my man Chiggs uh, saying, I never complain about the game, but this has to be said. There's absolutely no way this should be allowed to happen in an MCS game. Admins decided that there was nothing that could be done about this because there was no prior rule against a pump fake glitch. Apparently there's a pump fake glitch that we're going to be taking a look at here. And I don't know how to blow this up for you. Let me full screen this. So, so basically, if you look here, Chicks is on defense. He's going to put his defender in an outside third. Geezy is on offense. And you're going to see that he is going to pick up the pressure. And then he's going to pump fake. You see that pump fake? Now look at his outside third. You see that already starting to bite down. The outside third bites down completely. As you see, the zone glitches. And then this streak is going to be open over the top for one play score. And apparently this happened uh, consistently and is the main reason Chiggs lost this game. Well, luckily for us, uh, Geezy streamed his games and he did make a win and get in game against Dez. So Dez is going to be on defense and Geezy is going to be on offense. I figured that we would do a little film room, <laughs> do a little film room on the, uh, the pump fake glitch. Now, Geezy is going to be running the same offense as Dez. So they both run, I think it's Packers. Um, kind of Packers is this year's version of Jets, if you will, from last year. A lot of really good formations, a lot of audibling around. Dez um, was in this double safety defense a lot last year, uh, so he was going to run a lot of that. If there's a defense to pump fake glitch, it's probably this dollar defense. Um because Dollar is mainly a zone-based defense, so we'll kind of see if he does do that. Um, take a look at some combos here. Got a little short, little like triple corner. A lot of people are going to these like triple corners um, and throw the ball away. And a lot of people think, we'll see here. So I believe it's it's literally probably same playbooks on both sides. I don't know what Geezy's on in defense, but I know they're both in Packers book. So anyway, I just want to kind of watch the game and kind of see um, if he does pump big glitch and kind of what Dez does um, to combat it. One of the things that Dez does uh, defensively that's a little different than what a lot of people do is he will switch stick a lot. Um, he's going to switch stick a lot, and he'll actually switch stick, like, quickly. Um, now, he is going to shift into double mug, and this is mid blitz. He's going to just move this guy back, put him in his own. And now we get this movement. Now you see mid blitz get that good pressure. And this is why mid blitz has 100% uh, stood the test of time this year. And I do believe is probably going to be one of the better defenses all year. Um, we've got a full ebook on it on our site. Actually did, uh, and I'm actually dropping a Packers offensive ebook too. So we we'll see if there's anything we can learn from these guys in a win and get in game. So this is final 16. Final 16 of the Most Feared Tournament. Geezy has definitely been one of the more up-and-coming players over the last couple of years and seems to constantly be getting better, especially offensively. He's one of the better passers from what I've heard. Um, and, of course, I say that he throws a pick. <laughs> so I don't know what happened. Was that a, a little – oh, it's a P.I. Okay, P.I. So – but just the way Geezy plays offense is kind of um, – I guess, reminiscent of a lot of the shift. There's a lot more audibling around than we've seen before. I'm kind of surprised that he's not doing the pump fake glitch. If the pump fake glitch makes deep blue zones blitz, why would he not be running it every single play? I have to think it's probably because he maybe doesn't want to show it um, until he gets into a key situation. Maybe he has something to do with the pressure that Dez is sending. Uh, but it's kind of interesting that he's not really doing the pump fake glitch. And that was, you know, was kind of the thing apparently that separated him from Chiggs, according to Chiggs' Twitter. So, a little bunch wide, branch return, ISO receiver on a fade, so he doesn't know about the streak. And, nope, he's just going to throw it. And I think the re so uh, this is also the, I think the reason why Geezy is using Michael Penix at quarterback because Michael Penix has an ability called sleight of hand, which is going to um, basically make his pump fakes glitchier, so to speak. 
I mean, a streak on the left and an outrun on the left. And we got a little whip route. That's a nice little combo to dig return. That spaces out really well. One of the things that I do is one of my big takeaways from watching these these games and something I've tried to been talking about for the last month is switch stick changes how you want to play offense. And now you've got to space out your routes more than you've ever had to space out your route combos. Red zone situation for Geezy. I think he audibled 15 too many times. Going to go to Durham. No, not going to go to Durham. Motion out on a drag. Okay, I like this combo. Not the drag there. A little too easy to use her. And that's going to be second and goal. It is interesting to me that he has not done the pump fake glitch yet. That I can that I can see. Even though Des is running predominantly zone. Might just be because of the way Des switch sticks. I don't know. Ooh, high ball. There you go, boys. Those eyeballs. Super important. All right, so, yep, Geezy's going to be in dollar. And Geezy sends a little more DB fire. I feel like Geezy and Dez play very similarly. We'll see how this goes. Got audible round. Yeah, Dez does this a lot. Audible round. Corner route on the right. That's a nice read. Oh, high point. I tell you, though, though, sometimes these guys high point, they don't really need to. I mean, that guy's wide open. I guess you're doing that probably to help for switch stick. So you see Geezy's defensive adjustments, a little roll coverage on the right side with the running back manned up. Geezy sends a lot of DB fire. Like a lot of DB fire. Kind of interesting. You don't see that a lot. You don't see a lot of DB fire this year. You see a lot more edge blitz three and strong safety blitz or free safety blitz. On a left hash here, I guess that's why you're sending DB fire. It's because you're on a left hash. He's going to send two DB fires. He's got hard flats out there, I would assume. Oh, soft squats. I don't need, we use hard flat. Ooh, that's a nice combo. A little backside whip off that out route like that. That's a nice little play. Bunch strong offset. Go to a bunch tight end. Yeah, I mean, you see, or this is trips tight end. You see, it just goes to a lot of different formations, and so it just forces a lot of different adjustments. There's free safety zone blitz. And throw away. Yeah, so Dez, Dez gets balled half. Geezy's also doing this out of a cover two shell. I wonder if he's not baseline. I mean, he's got to be baseline. No, he's, base, he's baseline. This should be free safety zone blitz. I don't know why we're not sending that. This should be. Messes up adjustments. Ooh, a seam streak. Dez is Dez uh, was also is also kind of a really good high ball. Uh, Man twenty three was really good with the high point passing audible around. Kind of similar this year, high point passing, and then a lot of audibly and around getting you into different alignments, uh, which I also think is why Dollar is so good. Um, so you see there, nice read. That's a tight window. But nice read, able to get that. And this looks like Geezy has his hook curls on five. It does look like Geezy has his hook curls on five. Um, and a little shift here, probably anticipating a run, RPO. Good play, get out there, boomstick. Yeah, so this pump fake glitch, um, from what I understand, it's it's basically... So the way you pump fake in Madden, you click the button of the receiver that you want to pump fake twice. So if you want to pump fake to the solo receiver, in this case, you would hit X because he's on Xbox. You would hit that twice. Oh, corner route. Man, man, Dez is just carving up. What is this? Uh, just got a cover two. Yeah, this is the new combo. A lot of combo. A lot of people like that combo. I'm going to have to add that into my... Arsenal, that's out of bench pivot. It's kind of an old combo, but it's making a comeback because a lot of people this year are running a lot of um, a lot of cover two on the bunch side. It's really good for that. This is Geezy's favorite play right here. Um, and he throws a pick on it. Oh, my gosh, what a play by Dez. This is actually a crazy play by Dez. Watch what he does. 
This is a crazy play. He's over here. Look at this. He's over here. He's going to switch stick and then just jump it. This is a crazy play. See the switch stick? He jumps it. It doesn't look like he could get there, but he totally does. Able to pick it off. That's a game-changing play right there by Dez. Great switch stick. And that's why I personally hate switch stick. <laughs> because your eyes can lie to you so much offensively now. And it's I just feel like it's so much easier to throw picks. Because if you have a good switch stick and you... I mean... Anyway, that is Geezy's favorite play. It is surprising that he threw a pick on that, but it's also a really, really good switch stick. So anyway, real quick, let me show you something here. Okay, this is what is very common right now. So it's this this soft squat on a bunch side. So the counter to this defense is speed out, which pulls this guy down. And now the conflict player is here. This guy is streaking, and this guy is corner out. And normally, you're either going to hit that or that, depending on how this guy plays. If he plays more out here, then you have your tight end. If he plays more here, then you have your corner. So that's why this play is super popular, and it's hard to switch stick this play. And you see, Dez kind of goes back to it. And so the best way to defend something like that is actually cover four cover for a uh, hard flat or is fine but that's the end of one Geezy's still on a five yard hook girl he's not playing bad I wonder how close this game's gonna be I don't know I didn't see this I wasn't able to watch most of the games live so I figured I would record these see if you guys like these breakdowns I I normally only break down the um the actual MCS live event but I feel like if you guys like this stuff I'll I'll keep doing these because I I love doing this. I love breaking the game down. Probably one of my favorite things to do is, it sounds weird, but I, <laughs> I, f I actually really enjoy film study more than I actually enjoy playing the game. Not going to lie. Especially this year. I just don't, I don't love the gameplay this year. It's all right. It's just, I just, I just feel lost on offense, I will say. Like, just with the switch stick, it's like, it just, I'm not lost. Like, I know the good combos. I know what people are doing, but I just feel like for me, like, I feel like I struggle against switch stick. A good switch stick, I feel like I struggle with. There you see, touchdown from Dez, little high point. This is another thing I've seen a lot. Seam throw, user stuck, seam throw, high point. Let's just make pits. That's why you get pits. He's like six, six, five, six, seven, six, eight, seven foot. I don't even know how tall he is. It is interesting to me that Dez is in double A um, versus Dollar because Dez pretty much runs like Dollar is Dez's baby. Um, he's been running it for three, four years. But, I mean, you see how good double-A is. This is why – this is right here. Guys, this is why double-A is good. Look at what happens. He blocks it six. And that guy's on the left. And he sets up – he does all that stuff to set up his pass pro. This guy screams right through the middle. And while he's not going to come in free, he's going to instant shed. You see there? Instant shed. What can you throw? This pressure is so freaking good. It's why we have an ebook on it. There's more to to it as well. Uh, the scheme is certainly evolving. I don't think that AA is getting patched personally. I just don't think it is. I think if it was, they would have patched it by now. <laughs> yeah, I mean this is it's really good blitz. Mm, we're gonna send four. This is a great little send four. It's a very underrated send four. It's more of a coverage approach, but if you start setting up a bunch of pass pro for mid blitz, this send four is really good. I actually love that send four there. Let's take a look at his coverage. Basically cover three with a man up. Kind of kind of basic coverage. Good read. Yeah, third and three. See what Geezy goes to. I, I feel like if there was a time for the pump fake glitch, it'd probably be when you're down 14 to 7. So we'll see if he goes to it. So I don't think he's went to it yet. Maybe he doesn't want to – I, I don't only think he just doesn't want to show it early. The corner route, good switch stick again. <laughs> You're seeing these great switch sticks from Dez. They are really good switch sticks. Able to just go out there. Dez is, in my opinion, Dez. Your top five defensive players, probably Henry, Dez, Noah, 
And then after that, I think there's some debate. I think Drini's got to be up there. And then that five spot is typically – you could put a lot of people in that spot. I think you could, I actually think you could put Skimbo in that spot. I think Skimbo's always got something defensively. Another fourth down stop. He might get flooded. I don't know why we're – I guess because he's running so much man and pump fake, the pump fake glitch doesn't really doesn't really manipulate man. Ooh, look at that. That's really good defense by Dez. Get a shed. Yeah, that's good D. You're seeing why mid blitz is so good. And I am getting this off Geezy's Twitch, by the way. I think I said that in the beginning. So I'll leave a link to his channel in the description. Again, take a look at this defense. This is very common bunch D. Why is this good? Because one of the most popular combos is a streak. Is basically this. This defends that really well. Why don't we see more of this? And I think you are going to start to see more of that combo. That combo is not as good against um, cover three, cover four coverage. A little drag. Good read by Dez. Geezy's not looking too good. Geezy, I don't think Geezy's that good of a – I'm going to say he's not good, but I have not heard that Geezy's an amazing defensive player. not heard that he's a bad one, but, again, Dez kind of known for good defense and high balls and audibly and around. Henry, known for amazing defense and good reads, making good reads offensively. Able to get in there, Dez. 21-7 with ball at half is a tough situation to come back again. If there's a time for a pump fake glitch, it's probably this. I'm surprised we haven't seen him go to this. This is why a lot of players love these auto motion plays because this gives double A a really hard time. Uh, notice what Dez does. He basically, I don't know if he manually moved them or if he just showed, I don't know what he did, but he moves these guys out because what happens is if they're pressed up, he will just follow him in man. So what people are starting to do to kind of counter this audible is they're just moving them out back. Uh, so we'll kind of see how this goes. And then they're just basically playing basic coverage. So you see here, see how this guy doesn't move, see how this guy doesn't move. He could have just audible to zone. It's another thing he could have done. So he audibles to zone. You got a flat. There's your instant pressure. Look at this. This is good pressure, man. Uh, <laughs> I, I don't know. I don't know what's a better D. I actually don't know if a dollar or double mug's better. I personally prefer dollar just because I like I like being more of a I feel like I don't know. I just like dollar better. But I feel like double mug, when double mug is 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 like doing that, it's hard to argue. All right, so gonna wheel route. Good read. I actually like that combo. Instead of wheel post and a drag, maybe a backside drag too. That's a nice combo from Geezy. Yeah, I actually like that a lot. So what he does here is kind of an underrated thing. So it's had a bunch wide, so the spacing's a little bit better. This streak, you'll see it's going to pull this third. And this wheel could be thrown kind of over here. It's a really nice play. And then you're able to get your shallow. I actually really like this play. I'm going to definitely add that to my, to my playbook, to my arsenal. Out of Packers. And again, this is why you watch film rooms. This is why pro pro players study film in real NFL, right? Because you learn from each other. Uh, there's a really cool rant by Rex Ryan he did on Get Up uh, the other day that I, I really appreciated his kind of take on that too. Uh, I think I don't remember who he was talking. About. I was talking about the, uh, the Jets offense. It was the same combo. Oh, that's a terrible. Dis that's just a bad throw. That's just a bad throw, guys. Like, look, he's going to be open. He's probably anticipating maybe a switch stick. This is open. But it's like, I don't know if he high pointed it. I don't know if Penix just has a bad release. Like, this is open. He's trying to throw it over here. And I just don't know how we don't get the ball. I just don't know how that gets intercepted. I mean, undercuts it and pick six. And now we're 27. Again, if there's a time for a pump fake glitch, it's probably now. We have not seen a pump fake glitch. Little uh, bunch wide. 
likes this. This smash return, love this play. I really liked how he does this. I have, I saw Vos doing this. I like this because, and I'd like this to be like, you probably want to be short side for this, honestly, so that this is wide side. That's the only thing I don't love about it. But anyway, watch. So basically, what's the read here? Well, if this guy squats, that normally means this is a deep half, and you can inside pass like this streak. I actually like this play. So you see good switch stick. Now we should throw here. Should be instant. Don't. It's not instant. I do feel like Easy's kind of missing some reads as I'm looking at this film, which happens. Happens to the best players in the world. They miss reads. Everybody misses reads. Wheel, tight end. That's one thing that I'm starting to become a big believer in. Just because the play doesn't work doesn't mean the play doesn't work. So you can have a really good play. If you miss a read, you miss a read. And if you miss a read, it's often, it, you know, doesn't mean the play is a bad play. It means you made a bad play. So anyway, fourth and one. Let's see what Yeezy can do. Going to this. So this is, I actually did a video on this, this route combo. We'll see what he goes. I just, why are we fading? You can streak this guy. Must not know that. So it's crosser. This must, this is probably your chance for a pump fake glitch if there was one. Problem is he's sending so much heat. You don't have time to pump fake glitch, which is another element. Throws that cross. Good read. It's kind of funny because Geezy's in a 28 to 7 game, but I feel like he's actually like got really good plays and like <laughs> I don't feel like the I just feel like he made a couple bad reads does kind of capitalize on it and that's why it's 287 the plays are good <sighs> this is a great combo right here and Geezy really likes double corner I haven't seen I have not seen not just haven't seen it being ran I haven't really seen it work not gonna lie Double corner. I haven't seen how this play works. Let's see if he goes back to it here. Yeah, so this will be double corner. So it's just a basic corner and then a tight end corner stemmed all the way down. So the conflict player to me is typically going to – I don't know. Let's just see how this works for him. Backside dig. Motion him out. Why not? Throw a flat out there for fun. Yeah, okay, let's look at this. How does he read this? Like, to me, you throw the running back. Yeah, I just don't see how he reads that. And then he gets the, okay, so what happened here on the left side? This happens to me sometimes. It's like a super press. See the super press? He just, like, gets destroyed. So Geezy's expecting that in route to come back across the middle of the field, and then he literally just gets destroyed. Like, that's a terrible that's a terrible, terrible um, break for him, in my opinion. The in route just gets pressed into the dirt. Dez able to run the ball. And should just take this. Oh, he's just going to score. It's 35 to 7. 35 to 7 and a half. Oh, my gosh. We're going to get a pump fake glitch? There it was. He was trying to do it. But the problem is, like, look at this. It doesn't end up working either, so it's not 100% consistent. He probably pump fakes a little too fast. Des did go to 6-1. So maybe Geezy's anticipating a coverage. But here he tries to do it, see the pump fake. But watch this third. He stays on him. So it's not 100% consistent. Probably the best counter for pump fake, I would say, is probably blitzing and main coverage. And it seems like Easy was normally doing the pump fake glitch in the on the solo wide receiver side because that was the side that Des wasn't normally switch sticking to. So anyway, that is that's pretty much gonna be it. I mean, Des is just gonna. I mean, I don't know why Des was still passing. Not gonna lie. I mean, you're winning by twenty eight. We need to get this clock over with. Oh, it does look like Easy just ends up ends up conceding. Let's see. Corner route. Yeah. 
and I think Easy's just gonna be done. All right, boys. Well, all right, boys. Well, that was it. Just wanted to do a, a quick little breakdown on Geezy's, uh pump fake stuff. Didn't see it a ton in that game, honestly, probably because of man coverage and pressure. So if you're looking for a, a short-term counter, I would probably use that man coverage. They'll probably patch it. I can't see that glitch lasting forever. They will probably patch that pretty soon. But in general, um, yeah, there it is. Geezy versus Dez winning it in-game.